Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Hey, if you're a returning subscriber, that means you're already part of my dog pound. What's up, dog pound? And if you're not a current subscriber, hey, click that logo down there in the bottom corner and subscribe. Become part of the uh, dog pound, you guys. Click the bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a video so you can stay up to date as to what we're doing here at the Dog Father's Barbecue. Got a treat for you today ribs man i haven't done ribs in a while so we're going to do some st louis cut ribs we're going to get them put on the uh, ys 640 here we're going to smoke them away and we're going to get it done y'all with it let's get it So as you guys can see, I took a trip to my uh, local HEB and uh, I bought a rack of ribs here that I'm going to put on the smoker today. Usually HEB has some pretty good cuts, so um, yeah, I went ahead and picked these up. So anyway, uh, as what I do with my ribs, first thing I'm going to do is uh, the flap that's on the back. We're going to go ahead and cut that guy off of there. I'm not going to throw it away. Um, that thing can be used to season up some beans or, you know, put in some macaroni and cheese or, you know, whatever else you want to use it for. Definitely not something you waste. Just doesn't go well with the cook that we're going to do today. So, it's got to go. So, we went ahead and trimmed it off. So, next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm cutting off the end. Basically, I just want to square up the ends of the, uh, the rack of ribs here. Um, you know, I got to have a good aerodynamic there flow around the rib and uh, get a good end to it so went ahead and cut that end off and then uh, you know some people score it some people take it off I've done it both ways uh, most of the time I go ahead and take this membrane off so that's what we're going to do so I take my knife and stick it underneath the membrane between the membrane and the bone I use a paper towel so I can uh, get traction on that membrane and then you know what rip it right off in one piece if you're lucky it cooperated with me for this time for the camera. I don't know why, because sometimes I'll have to do it in pieces, but hey, it came off in one good sweep. I'm good with that. So next thing I'm going to do is uh, pull off uh, this, this extra chunk of fat here on one end of the rack, where you could actually, you know, cut off uh, an extra bone there and uh, eliminate all that if you wanted to, but I didn't do that. I just decided to keep that bone and, and trim off uh, some of that fat there, so that's what I did. So now we got a good, even, rectangle uh, rack of ribs here that we have to work with to put on the smoker. So uh, today I'm using olive oil as my binder. You know, you can use your, your mustard or, you know, whatever else you want to do. But I use olive oil today, so got a good coat on there. And then I used It's Incredible. You know, this stuff is good on just about everything. So yeah, I'm using It's Incredible today get a good base layer of it's incredible on there to get a good flavor going and then this is a rub I rarely use Gates hot and spicy it definitely is got a little it's got a little little kick to it uh, back in heat it's definitely got some sweet it's got a good color to it so uh, yeah I decided to go ahead and use this man I, I don't use it very regularly so hey let's use it see what we can do with these ribs today with some Gates hot and spicy and some it's incredible So we got a good coat there on the uh, back side of this rib and now we're going to flip it over and basically it's a rinse and repeat. We're going to season up the uh, front side again, hit it with that it's incredible. Got a good little layer going there. Man if you haven't tried it's incredible I'm telling you this stuff is amazing. I would tell you it's incredible but you know hey the name already speaks for itself so. So anyway. So we got this rib uh, nicely seasoned, man, and I mean, you could just see all the different pieces of seasoning that's within these guys. It's a, it's a, it's a good looking stuff there. And so basically, we got this rib, the rib rack is already seasoned and it's, it's ready, it's just, we're going to let it sit here a little while and I'm going to get the, uh, the pit ready and man, we're going to go ahead and let this thing get a good sweat. And uh, once we have a good sweat on this rack, It'll be pretty much time for us to go ahead and put it on the uh, on the on the smoker and let it do its thing. 
And so here I've basically taken that rack of ribs and I've set it on some aluminum foil for transport. And uh, man, you can see it's got a good little sweat going there. So it's ready to go on the grill. So uh, let's get to the grill, guys. All right, guys, it's time for us to get these ribs put on the grill. So because of the weather, I don't want to get out there and get wet. So I'm going to use my YS640, which happens to be under my covered patio. So let's get these ribs on, all right? Let's do it. So remember, guys, when you're putting your ribs on, you always want to form your ribs on the grill the way you want them to cook. I shape them the way that I want so that as they cook, they'll come out just the way I kind of envision them, the way I put them down. So that looks pretty good to me, so uh, we'll let these puppies go. Alright guys, so we're one hour into this cook, and so we're going to go ahead and spritz our ribs. And again, we're going to use 50-50 uh, ACV and apple juice, and so let's get it done. All right, so we got them spritzed and we'll let them go for a little longer and we'll check back on them in a little while, all right? All right guys, so it's been roughly about two hours into this cook. So at this point, the ribs have probably gotten all the smoke flavor that they're gonna get in this cook. So now it's probably gonna be that time we're gonna wrap them up, put them in our aluminum foil, and then we're gonna tenderize these bad boys, get them nice and tender just the way we want them. All right, let's do this. Alright, so we're going to get these bad boys wrapped up. Alright guys, we're going to get down some butter. We're going to get some brown sugar in here. We're going to get some honey on. We're going to lay our ribs right over top of it, meat side down. some butter. Brown sugar. And a honey. And we'll just fold this guy up. We'll close it back up. So, all right, guys, so we got our ribs wrapped. So, again, this is about the two hour mark. So, uh, we've got them wrapped. We're going to tenderize them. We'll come back and check them in about an hour or so and we'll see where they're at. All right? I'll see you then. All right, guys, so this is about the hour and a half uh, mark since we've wrapped our ribs. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. Um, I've been trying to figure out, man, what am I going to put on these ribs today? What kind of barbecue sauce am I going to use? Sometimes I don't even use sauce, but these style of ribs, you know, we're doing it the competition kind of style. Uh, yeah, I absolutely want to use some barbecue sauce. So, I thought about my man James at Amy McClain with Smokers. If you guys haven't seen his uh, YouTube uh, page, man, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. Guy is awesome. He does a great job with ribs. So, James, anyway, is recommending. He says, man, I'm going to tell you about a barbecue sauce that I use. I've never used it before, so I'm using it today. It's Head Country. Head Country 
apple and habanero. So that's what we're going to try today. So let's get these ribs checked and maybe it's time to get this uh, barbecue sauce on and we'll get to it, all right? Let's do it. Got some pool back there, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm just going to kind of poke it and see what the tenderness is and it seems to be going in like butter there guys. So I definitely like the uh, tenderness on these ribs right now so I'm going to call them done. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys out of this foil and we're going to go ahead and get some sauce put on them here. So we'll let these bad boys sit here for a good uh, 10 minutes or so, maybe 15, and just kind of let this barbecue sauce set before we flip it and uh, to the other side. All right, guys, this has been about 10 minutes or so, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get these guys flipped over. Get the color on these guys. And what I'm going to do... So I'm going to hit it again just a little bit with our uh, seasonings. And then we're going to get our sauce applied. guys so we'll let that go for a good 10 or 15 we'll let it set and I'll bring you back in a minute all right guys it's been about uh, 12 13 minutes it's time to go ahead and uh, get these uh, ribs off of here and I'll tell you they have an amazing color to them So we got our ribs cut and uh, we're ready to taste them. Uh, just wanted to recap, again I got a rack of ribs from my grocery store today. Cleaned up the rack a little bit. We went and seasoned it with uh, It's Incredible. And uh, we used some Gates Hot and Spicy. And uh, man, we put it on the smoker, put it on the YS640 today, and let it do what it had to do. Uh, got a good even smoke on it, got a good cook on it today. Um, got it to the tenderness I think I wanted. And uh, we hit it with that uh, Head Country uh, Apple Habanero Barbecue Sauce. And uh, man, tell you what, let's just uh, let's see what it's all about, guys. Tell you what, man, that's some good stuff. This actually has a really good ratio of salty to sweet with a good back end heat. It's really good. So, um, yeah, man, if you haven't tried that Head Country 
like I said, my man James at Amen and Claim Him, he told me to try it out. So I have to give him credit, man. It's some good stuff, James. So, yeah. Head Country, uh, Apple Habanero. Put on some pork ribs. Good stuff. Alrighty, guys. It's been a blast. Again, hey, if you like what I did here, hit that like button. If uh, you're not a member of the uh, Dog Pound, bottom corner down there click my logo subscribe turn on the bell get the notification so whenever I upload a video you'll get it all right guys till the next video peace